Oh my goodness, it's a gorgeous day. Welcome, I'm Ryan Maker 238 welcome to my channel. Uh, normally we're in the shop, but sometimes we get to do some stuff out on the job site. That's what we're doing today. We're gonna try to, try, to uh, replace on the wind, wind screen on my 950 uh, front end loader. It's a wheeled loader. I don't know what year it is. I think it's uh, 96, something like that. Um, it's the original window screen. Uh, had a crack in it. We replaced it, and uh, the people that put it in, it lasted three days. It did a pretty shoddy job. Um, now, I am no uh, wind person. I'm a, a simple little maker here, and let's see if I can do it. If I can do it and put it on the internet, y'all can learn on it a little bit, because I've uh, bleep blooped it. There's like three videos on this. So, uh, wish me luck and uh, enjoy. Well, mm, there it is. Uh, we just got done running our metal, got it all cleaned up. It's a beautiful day outside. But I tell you what, it is cold, cold, cold. Um, we got our new window screen. We've had that for quite some time. I've got some tape to tape my inner, my side seam, so I can get a nice silicone bead on it. I went by Harbor Freight. Man, tell you what, Harbor Freight's got just about everything. Um, they've got all the window glass, remover, suction cups, scrapers, and then I also got some RTV silicone. Uh, this is the stuff that everywhere on the old interwebs have said, and I use that on the swim factor to actually install the window. That stuff's awesome. Our plan, oh, if it works, is up there on the top on the cap we'll call that the cap there's four bolts that hold the little plastic piece on we're going to take those four bolts off and slide that back i don't think that that's what they did i think they left it on and just kind of flipped it up and then put the windshield on we're going to take that slide it back we're going to go ahead and cut all of our seams um we've got this thing i've only seen it done i've never done it but this right here you attach and you can kind of saw the silicone where the two glasses come together. Um, we're gonna do that, get that wiped out. Uh, maybe it'll come out in one piece, it should. It's got all that plastic crap in it. Right? Okay. I just need about a foot more and I can do it. One thing with heavy equipment, you gotta be able to hop around like on a jungle gym. All right, we had this glass in what three days? Maybe a week. Yeah. Maybe a week. We're loading some of those big pigs into the bucket with the crane, like I always do. Go put it in, put it in, put one in. I get a call. He says, the windshield shattered. I said, I didn't hit it. He said, well, it shattered. I mean, you, there, you can't feel a thing on here. You come up right here, and this glass is touching. Now, this cab will flex when you put that, that any kind of weight into the bucket. You gotta think it's constantly moving around. What do you think is gonna happen when glass hits glass? That right there. So. All right, we're gonna get this tore out. Uh, probably not gonna film it because I don't know what I'm doing. You know, 
I got a halfway look like I know what I'm doing. So we'll do that, get that out, and then uh, we'll start chooching along. Old one is out. New one's ready to go in. That looks kind of weird, huh? Ha! Ultimate AC. Uh, but what we did is we scraped that edge right there, and that's where they had glass on glass touching. So I need to pay attention to that. Either they cut the glass wrong and they just made it a little bit too wide right there. I don't know. But I went ahead and cleaned that up. We sprayed it with some starter fluid to clean it up. Got all of our surfaces ready and primed and scrubbed and all that stuff. All right, well, that was a little, a lot easier than I thought. We did about a half inch bead. We set the glass on here. We picked it up, brought it down like that. We set it on those two rubber bumpers, just like I said. And then we take it and you softly set it down. You want to just press just enough to where you're creating some suction between the RTV silicone and the glass itself. You're not pushing the silicone out of the way. That silicone is there as our bumper, remember? Now, <laughs> whether they cut their glass wrong or just the Caterpillar one is just that much better, but I've got an even gap all the way down here. I mean, it's even on either side. We double and triple checked it. Tyler, you want to say hello? All right. There's Tyler. He's helping me. But yeah. So we'll take now. I don't think I'm going to use glue, uh, tape. I'm just going to run because I'm pretty good with silicone. I'm going to run a bead on the inside or on the outside and just let it sit. I'm not even going to wipe it. But then I will do a, a pretty aggressive bead on the inside and then push that in through right there. So it kind of creates a, you know, like a little eye beam of silicone that holds everything together. All right, I'm gonna do that. We'll come back. We're pretty much done. It's about lunchtime, I do believe. Look at that. Y'all, I mean, why I got you here, take five minutes out of your day. Stop everything you're doing. You know, just get out there and soak up life. Look outside, put your feet on the ground, put your hands in it, and just be a part of this world. It don't take long. Look at that. So, anyway, I'm gonna do that and come back. And we're back. Hey, look at that. That is a nice, nice little uh, bed of silicone, RTV sealant, that the glass will kind of rub up against. You see what I'm saying? And I'm pretty sure I caught it where we showed the glass on glass on why this broke the first time. But there's the top again. I put my hand knee deep into that one. Whoopsie. And as you rake it and you're pushing the air out of it, believe it or not, you're creating a suction. Um, if you want to, go back and look at my swim factor video. I'll put that up somewhere. But uh, when I put my window in, I pushed it in and it had so much suction, I tried to move it around. I couldn't do it. So once you push it in, wipe it, get that air bubbles and stuff to kind of push out and create yourself a little bit of a suction. Um, we'll climb on the inside if I can do it without falling <laughs> um, And I'll show you how the inside turned out What Tyler say Tyler said You know, what'd you say? It don't have to be pretty if it works yeah. But I think I did Okay, I mean it could be prettier But Here's the inside And I just put a really big bead on on the inside and I took my thumb and you just push. When you get a build up on that edge, you wipe it off. Don't buy any of those wipey tools, man. You got 10 of these things, you know, every different angle and shape size. You just put your finger in it, you'll find it. Uh, we're gonna put the cat back on. It's sitting on the back of the loader. We're gonna do that and I think we're done. Heck yeah. And uh, this one should last a lot longer than a week, so. Now, we just got done, and these work pretty good. You can get them to stick. Um, this is a must. I think it's $9 at Harbor Freight. 
if you don't have Harbor Freight, uh, hop on Amazon, window removing tool, and buy the cheapest one, you know, if you're doing it once. This thing is also a must. Uh, this, you kind of put it into the window screen, and you can take your hand on that side and pull your silicone line, and we did that at the bottom. Um, it worked really good. Uh, we did it at the top, too. So, I mean, these, I might have 40, 50 bucks in supplies, and I've got these forever. So if I ever need to do another one, I've got the tools for it. I forget how much them boys charged me to put that in, but, you know, it's all right. We live and we learn. So, yeah, just want to show off what tools to use. Uh, don't be intimidated by this stuff. Play around with it, you know. We all done. We can throw that somewhere. Put it in the old garbage. There. She's done. Uh, you leave the door open because you don't need any pressure whatsoever. When you close your door on your regular cars and stuff, they've got cab vents that are all over that so you don't pop your eardrums when you close the door because you're creating pressure when you do that. Uh, whenever you get done doing your windshield, if you decide to do it, uh, wait about three to four days. And uh, prior to that, and even maybe about a week afterwards, leave your door cracked, leave a window cracked. That way when you close it, you're not creating pressure and wanting to pop that thing out. Um, we're going to let this sit for four days. Uh, and then uh, it should be fine. Um, but yeah, we done. I uh, hope you all enjoyed it. It's a little bit different one today. Um, I have not forgotten. I am going to do a walk around on this thing one day. I just I get to work and I get ready to go home and I forget to bring my camera and stuff so <sighs> but we'll get it um I gotta go home I think it's about lunchtime look how clean I get my metal anyway y'all have an awesome day get out to your shops your little closets craft areas garages front porch doesn't matter get out there and make something you know makes you feel good why not you know, and I like to think that maybe some of the stuff that I build might outlive me and it'll be here long after me. So, that's a pretty cool thing to think of, too. It could be painting a rock. Paint a rock. You know, it could put it out in your garden and it might be there forever. Who knows? Anyway, appreciate your time. Uh, if you're not subscribed, subscribe. Till we meet again. Thanks. I think it's hit right there. Hit right there. All kinds of interactive stuff to click on, but we're going to end with that beautiful scene. This is what I get to look at every day. I want to show it to y'all. So, until we meet again.